Hello my learning and technology friends. Today we're going to take a look at an online video editor called ClipChamp. It's owned by Microsoft. They bought the company back in late 2021 and they've started to incorporate it into the Microsoft Office 365, the Microsoft 365 environment. So if you have a subscription to Microsoft 365, check it out and see whether or not you have it in your subscription or not. Now there are a couple versions. There's a free version or the one that's included with your subscription. And then there's also a paid premium version that really gives you a few additional features like higher quality video output. But remember, this is an online video editing tool, so it's not going to be as robust as Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolver, some of the tools that you would install on a dedicated system. But what it does do is it gives you the ability to do all sorts of video editing projects without the need to install anything on your computer. What's interesting is you can actually download it to your system, so it does have a downloadable component. You can download it for iOS or you can download it onto Windows. So it is a very powerful tool that you can localize if you want to. But what I really like about it is that it's something that you can use in the cloud so that if you move from system to system, uh, you can go and, and continue to edit your videos. Let's go take a look and stick around because there's something you can do that's really, really cool using your phone and clip champ that's going to I think blow your minds so anyway let's go have a look and then you can tell me in the comments below you can say wow Frank that was super cool that blew my mind or you can say no nah, not so much that was just kind of interesting I'll take either anyways comment down below what you think like subscribe if you want more content like this let's go take a look at clip champ if I'm logged into my office account and I go to my app launcher here you'll notice that I have clip champ now, ClipChamp is pretty cool because it's going to allow me to do online video editing, but it has a number of really neat features that I think you're going to like. So when you launch ClipChamp, it's going to give you a number of templates that you can use, royalty-free music that you can use, all sorts of neat things. I happen to have the professional account, so I, I have some additional templates and such, but there are a whole bunch of free ones that are there. I have a brand kit, for example. Notice that I can record my screen and my camera. So I can actually use ClipChamp as a way of doing screencasting. So this is a great way to go in, uh, create video tutorials like I'm doing right now. I can just use my camera, which will use the built-in camera that's either part of my laptop or if I have a webcam or if I have any type of camera attached to my system. And I could just record the screen by itself. Maybe I want to show somebody how to use a piece of software like I'm doing here or any other type of thing that I might want to do where I can, you know, maybe capture a game that I'm playing or whatever the case may be. So I've cleaned everything up here. So I'm going to go in and create my first video. Um, if you have videos, they'll all be there and you'll actually see them in, as part of your account. Notice that I have a number of templates here. So this is my media that I have in here. I can record my screen, I can do the camera recording, so on and so forth. You can even do text to speech. I can go in and grab one of the templates that's there. I can go into the music, so I have different types of music and preview it. So you can listen to the music in advance. And then I can go in, grab some stock video that's in here as well. So that's really handy. I can go in and grab some stock images that are in here as well. Text, so if I want to put text onto my screen, I can go in and work with different graphics that I might have. You can even browse some of the templates that are there. I can go in and put transitions into my video and I can put a brand kit on here. Again, this is a case of where if I had my own, um, my, my premium subscription here. So there's certain templates and features that might only be available if you pay the fee. So if I go in here, let's go into templates actually. And let's say I'm going to be launching a new website. So I'll go into website you'll see that there's a number of different ones in here, new website. So we're going to launch a new website and this is going to give me a preview, right? New website launch. I can see what it is. It's a little 12 second clip. Let's go ahead and add that to my timeline. So now what's going to do, what it's going to do is it's going to add this template into my timeline where I can make modifications to it. So I might want to change the music or I might want to change the text that's in here. It does take a little bit to import. And maybe what I want to do is I want to underneath here, instead of having the rocket launch, maybe I want to have some other video. Let's, let's have a look at what I can do here. So if I go into the media, you'll notice that I've got the Apollo launch. I've got the cinematic music that's in there as well. Let's say I want to add my own video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my phone. So I have my phone here and I'm going to go in and hit the plus button here. 
Now, what it'll do with my phone is I can actually pull data from any of these sources here. I can record my camera, I can record my screen, or I can actually pull in from my phone. So when I pull in with my phone here, so you can see I just got the screencast of my phone so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to open up my camera. I'm going to grab the QR code. And what it's going to do is it's now going to open up and say, do you want to select media that's on your phone? So if I've already taken some video or if I already have some images from my phone, but I can go in here and I can actually select media and I can go to my photo library. I can take a photo or video or I could choose a file. So I'm going to take a photo or video and you can see here I've got this, you know, little uh, top here and a platform for it. I'm going to make this a video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start recording and I'm going to spin that top. I'm going to let this go for about 12 seconds because I'm going to replace that Apollo 14 with the 12 seconds of my top spinning. So I'm going to spin this down here, let it spin for a while. I'm going to stop the video recording and now I'm going to say use the video. It's now going to import the video from my phone here over to my uh, clip, cha uh, clip chap. So I've got this in here as well. So now I'm going to go in. Let's go back here. I've got this here. I'm going to take this video and delete it. So we'll go right click and we'll just delete this video here. And what I will do is I will import or bring in the video that I created here. I can go in. Of course, it's going to be a bit too long. So I can do all of the wonderful types of editing that I might need to do in here. So we'll split the clip in here, get rid of the end part of it. Whatever I might like to do, you can edit it through. I'm now going to go back here. Now, this isn't a tutorial on film editing, but the, the point here is that what I can do is I'm doing this all within a web browser clip champ environment. So we'll go here and instead of new website launch, what I'll do is I'll click this here. We'll grab this uh, text in here. Instead of new website la launch, I'll say, are you and I'll say ready. So are you ready? Put a question mark because that is a question mark. And then underneath here, Maybe I'll do for the website here. I'll double click on the text here again. And instead of website.com, I'll do this. Must my new website learning mindset.ca. So this is my new podcast that I have in here. So I can do learning mindset.ca. I can modify the size of it. Be a little bit cautious of this because it is, um, you want to make sure that you can see it on here. I'll move it up here a little bit. Just make it a little bit different. There we go. You can also modify it by modifying the uh, values in here and I'll center, centerize it. And if I go here and go back to the beginning, let's see what I have. Recording, and I'm going to spin that. Now you can actually hear me I'm talking so I could mute that 12 clip. seconds because I'm going to replace that Apollo 14 with the 12 seconds of my top spinning. There you go. So you can see I replaced that. So I've started to create a little clip here and this is very easy to do. There's a lot more we can do, but once I'm done, I can export it so I can actually export it. Notice it's less than 15 seconds long, so I could make a little GIF out of it. I could also export it out to 1080. Now this here, I believe, is because I do have the premium subscription. I think that if you're if you're on the free plan, you don't get the 1080. I'm, I have to I'd have to double check that. But underneath here, I'll call this uh, call this demo video, whatever it might be called. So let's go edit this and we'll call it, uh, are you ready? So we'll call this, are you ready as an export? Notice I can even export it directly out to things like TikTok, YouTube, share it out on LinkedIn, whatever I might want to do. A lot of times what I will do is I will actually save it to say my, my OneDrive or my Dropbox. And then what I will do is I will then upload it. But Underneath here, say, are you ready in here? It's, it's exporting right now. It's creating this video for me. And then I will have this video that I can then uh, share it and save it out to another platform. You can also, if you'd like, install it onto your computer, but that kind of defeats the purpose of web editing. But let's say you do want to install it. If you have one computer that maybe has a little bit of power to it, you can do that. So there we go. I've got my little clip here. I'm going to save it to my computer. It's now going to download it into my downloads. I can open that file. It'll use something like Windows Media Player in order to open that file. So I can go in here and Media Player will play my little recording. Are you ready? And I'm going to spin that top. Now that was We're a very simple video using a template that I had here. 
you'll see that it now appears underneath my new website launch here. There are a whole bunch of templates that I can have for education, for TikTok, for marketing, all sorts of neat stuff that I can do. All right, there's ClipChamp. I hope that was useful for you. Again, comment down below. Tell me what you thought. Uh, let me know if you're going to use ClipChamp. I think I'm going to try it out for a lot of little small projects. I especially like the stock image library and the stock video footage library. And the there's so many things. I'm going to try out the screen recording. I use a different tool for that right now that's pretty robust, but it's also significantly more expensive. But I'm going to see what I can do with ClipChamp. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.